This is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and after this uh, really helpful day where we had a bunch of people over here to help us paint the bottom of the boat, um, when I went to get the props and put the props back on, uh, which I would like to do, I noticed a, a pit in the inner props. Both inner props have this. Let me show it to you right here. You can see that. Super windy outside. The temperature dropped down to the 40s after being uh, close to 70 degrees the other day. There's always there's always more stuff to do to get the boat ready. So I want to run through that real quick. This is the update. We have to consider whether or not we want to bottom paint a second coat, which we wouldn't do the whole boat, but maybe just those spots that are really bad. We'll bottom paint that. Not sure if we decided whether or not we're doing that. Um, I have to put the zincs, the anodes back on the outdrives. I know one of the outdrives is low in gear oil because I lost a bunch of gear oil. It's kind of a mess. I can't explain how it was ridiculous. So I think it's the starboard one. So today uh, I'm going to add the gear oil to the starboard side. Now. I did have the starboard side serviced and uh, when I get the itemized bill I can tell you kind of what that cost me and why. Um, it was about $1900 because it wasn't just the bellows and it wasn't just the gimbal bearing uh, but there was something else that needed to be replaced. The other thing is I went to a prop shop uh, to ask them about that pit that hole that's in that propeller. And they said that was normal. Um, it shouldn't affect the engine. It shouldn't affect the performance. So I kind of left there. I didn't actually talk to the guy. He was in the back. I kind of left there thinking, all right, well, what else do I need to do to get these propellers ready? As you noticed, I mean, they were originally painted white when we got the boat. And that has come off in the last two years, but there's still some on there. So that that's a question that remains unanswered for me. The shrink wrap has to be taken off. I need help for that, so I'm not going to do that today. And we have to hook up all the hoses for the engine that we winterized ourselves. So I need my Ninja Admiral to come back with me and put the drain plugs back in. I think that's it. In terms of what has to happen before it goes in the water. So, propeller cleanup, propeller put back on, gear oil, starboard side out drive, bottom paint touch up, shrink wrap removal, and put the canvas and the eyes and glass back up, and six would be prep the engine. Seven, put the anodes back on the out drives. So today I only I'm only here briefly. So let's see if we can do the gear oil, then I'll put the anodes back on. Okay, that was a good quick attachment. Got it out, got this one in. Now that screw is out 
and I should be pumping this. Should be pumping the gear oil up and in and until it comes out right there. It's about a third of a quart I've put in so far. I am getting to be two thirds of a quart right now. You can see how much I lost. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, let me put this back in here. Tricky part is taking this out. Here's the drain. Have to unscrew this. Oftentimes that gold piece, which is an extra Volvo Penta attachment that you put on these uh, sort of gear oil pumps, it doesn't come with it. You'll see I start turning that and then this uh, is not turning. Where, where this had failed and I lost all this oil was between this and uh, this nozzle here. There's actually a loose sort of metal washer that had worked its way off of here and into here. And all of a sudden I just started losing a ton. I might need a pair of pliers to move that together. Come on now. It's not coming out. There we go. I gotta have this guy ready. Here we go. There it is. Should be taking my gloves off. All right. Okay, that's good and tight. All right, so there's the right gear oil level on the out drive, starboard side. This anode we put on when we were here last after we bought and painted the boat. So there's one anode that goes here. Uh, and then there's one that goes up in here. Clamshell ones go on each of the trim tabs right there. But I think I'm gonna wait because we haven't painted those trim tabs yet. We might have painted the bottom, but not the top. Two of these for the trim tabs, and I got two sets of these for the out drives. You see there, it says SX, which is interesting. That might be the wrong one. Uh, I should open it up and see. Okay, good news, bad news, mostly good news. Good news is they fit. Bad news is there's some paint that got right there. Spray paint got around there a little bit. So I'm gonna sand that because you don't want paint touching the, uh, the anodes. I sanded them down, that area down to get the paint off. I didn't like that there was still some paint on it. So I put both anodes back on of each of the out drives. I did install the underside ones, they were fine. The only thing that remains uh, is the trim tabs, the anodes. Never seems like you can get in and get out as fast as you want to when trying to do stuff on the boat. There's always something else. But um, this wasn't actually too bad. So I appreciate you watching, like and subscribe. Ciao.